Hello guys, it is that Panda guy. I'm here again with another video and today we're going to be looking at Back Alley Doctor Request for a little bit and I kind of wanted to just talk about it so you guys kind of got a general idea about how this works. So first off, I do want to mention that, you know, to get to the next level, you have to actually beat the previous one and you can't complete them all in one go. You have to do it one at a time, meaning for example, um, once you defeat D-Class, when Back Alley Doctor comes back around, you can complete C-Class. And once you complete C-Class, you can go up to B, and it's a uh, repeated, like, spiral upwards. So, And uh, I think you can only do these every month. I know that I've seen it before every island raid, so that kind of does give you guys a general schedule. It should be, like, around the start of every month that you will have Back Alley Doctor pop up. You know, unless they do change the schedule up a bit, but all in all, you know, you can just progressively go up. And it should just be once every month. I think that it did come around even faster this time. I think it was, like, two times in a row. It was kind of crazy. I don't know why Back Alley Doctor, like, popped up so fast because I swear it just happened but next I wanted to talk a bit about the summons the bosses or whatever so by progressively beating these levels you can or sorry so what happens is uh, everybody has to hit like a requirement like if your alliance is you know 20 players for example hit C rank at, I guess level 25 or higher on C rank boom you can unlock this Terry if they do you know 25 level 30 B ranks you um you know you hit this level and it, it just it's so on and so on i do recommend trying to make a schedule around this having you know alliance mail sent out so people know when that you're going to do these bosses and whatnot so everybody can coordinate for this also you can only attack with one march each it is one of those things that you swarm down i've seen some alliances do like 50,000 marches for everybody 100k marches whatever it might be just because you know if you swarm it too fast it could just melt like extremely fast and it could be like i don't know it could just suck to get rewards if you aren't able to make it in time so you know do do note that if you have a really big showing for these type of things try to i guess and you know if it's melting too fast try to have like some smaller marches sent and yeah, I mean, um, you know, just try to have schedules for these. Their rewards are pretty good. Everybody can only send one march, so you're not able to, like, five march swarm it yourself. You can only get one reward um, thing from it. But yeah, I hope that does help a bit. I think I've done another video about this, about what heroes I think are better or good for it. And I still stand by that. I still think that having a tank and, a um, and like, Martin or even Peterson attacking it are pretty efficient. I've tried using, like, Russell and stuff. And I just don't have the same results. It definitely flops way faster. I feel even though it is more time consuming, it is better for me personally if I use a tank and I use a healer with it. So I generally use like Tom and Martin because it's just pretty good. I mean, if I have Peterson for the account, I'll probably use so-and-so and Peterson. I mean, of course, if you're just overwhelmingly stronger, then I don't think it really matters what heroes you end up using. But, you know, for a lot of people, even me, it is a struggle to get through all the S, S levels at least. But yeah, I do thank you guys for watching as always, and I do hope this video was somewhat helpful towards people who were confused or just didn't know what they were doing with this event. Um, also, I know like some people are confused. Only Alliance Leader like uh, or an R4 can start this boss. Do try to have schedules. Like I said, it does really help, you know, make sure Alliance Leader and stuff are kind of telling you guys before they start that i've seen my alliance and even other alliances start these because they didn't know what the heck these were and they were like oh i guess it's just something i summon and then they screwed it over for the alliance and you know nobody really got the rewards they wanted because it was just uh, leadership who didn't know what they were doing you know so yeah i thank you guys for watching as always and you guys have an amazing day or night peace out